Hello, everyone. It is 1130 Central, so we will get started. Thank you for tuning in to today's presentation, Creating the Ideal Child Care Pathway. My name is Kelsey, and I will be your moderator for today's presentation. First, here is your 30-second introduction to RealityWorks for those who aren't familiar with us. We are an employee-owned company based in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, that creates experiential learning tools for teaching job and life skills. We got our start over 20 years ago when former, former NASA engineer Rick Germain created the first real care baby infant simulator, then went on to found the company that is now RealityWorks. Today, our training tools combine curriculum with hands-on learning tools, student activities, and assessments. Baby is still around, but now you can look to us for our tools like bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator, virtual reality welding simulator, wearable geriatric sensitivity suits, and if you have some time, we encourage you to check out our website and see it all. Presenting today, we have Denise Dubois, who is the Senior Family and Consumer Sciences Product Manager here at RealityWorks and has been with us for over 15 years. She is a frequent presenter, trainer, and blogger for all things related to family and consumer science, health science, and human services. Denise has experience in teaching in Wisconsin and Minnesota and has over 20 years of education, marketing experience, and professional development. She is also the co-chair for the Alliance for Family and Consumer Sciences and on the Executive Council National Consortium for Health Science Education. Before we get started, I wanna cover a couple things. First, today's presentation is being recorded and all attendees will receive a link containing the recording as well as a copy of the PowerPoint slides and free resources. For those of you attending live today, you will also receive a certificate of completion for attending today's presentation. Keep an eye on your email. You will receive that email within 24 hours after the presentation and we will have time at the end for Q&A, so feel free to type your questions in the chat or Q&A feature located at the bottom of your screen. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pass things over to Denise. Thank you, Kelsey, and welcome, everyone. RealityWorks Child Care Career Training Solutions feature immersive, hands-on tools and uh, prepare future child care professionals, and they also engage students in child care career exploration. So in today's webinar, we are going to outline our very best products and programs for creating a child care career pathway. And along the way, we are gonna share five activities and some free resources for you as well. And this list just gives you a quick rundown of what we're gonna cover in our webinar today. So let's begin. Here is an editable plan of study document found at careertech.org. And it, we found it very helpful in program planning by offering suggested course listings and descriptions for secondary and post-secondary programs. And we're gonna use this to create the ideal childcare career pathway and show you how you can use our programs and our resources to create a hands-on engaging program. So first of all, let's look at career exploration in education and training. Now, here are a few goals that we have to help support a course in career exploration in, uh, in education and training. First of all, childcare careers and professionals are in demand. Career exploration and hands-on learning are key ways to get your students interested in these careers and prepare them for job success. Also, the importance of offering students opportunities to explore careers in education and training as part of a successful child career pathway program is key as well. And then lastly, um, here's an overview of what um, um, we have a blog that covers four hands-on learning aids that introduce students to a variety of careers within education and training and engage them in scenario-based learning specific to child care careers. And we'll show you how you can hook up to that blog and uh, learn and read from that as well. So here are four of our hands-on learning aids that we would like to highlight that can be, we think, excellent for that uh, career exploration. First of all, we have an education and training career exploration kit. And it's a great one week unit as an interesting way to explore careers in child, uh, early childhood, elementary, secondary education, professional support careers, and more. Uh, the supplemental kit includes things like student workbooks, posters, and standard-based lessons. And it's gonna introduce your students to a variety of potential education and training related careers. Um, secondly, we have an employability, skill, employability skills program that's an engaging and easy way to implement 
soft skills into what you're already doing. And it uses the power of scenario-based learning and it has hands-on activities as well. And it's loaded with real world applications to teach your students 20 different soft skills from things like communication and interpersonal skills to time management and responsibility. Our third recommended career exploration kit is our child care career scenario cards. And these are pathway specific workplace scenario cards that cover real world situations in child care careers. And you can use these uh, scenarios and cards to develop your soft skills within this specific occupational area. These are very uh, flexible. You can use them for things like small group discussions, large group icebreakers, or even as individual challenges. And then our fourth hands-on learning aid that we would like to highlight as a career exploration tool is our Shaken Baby. You can use the Shaken Baby simulator and curriculum to help young people understand the effect of only a few seconds of shaking on an infant's brain and how to safely soothe a crying infant. Um, that simulation where you're doing the shaking will stay with your students. It's very powerful with a transparent head that illuminates as parts of the brain are impacted and damaged is, is uh, something that will stay with your students. And then you can also use the shaking baby for hands-on practice. Uh, soothing an infant while you put on the soothing garment. And then uh, you can uh, use some movement, some comfort, and it will eventually stop crying um, when that soothing garment is applied correctly and you are um, um, holding them and providing them some comfort. So just four really good, powerful hands-on learning aids for career exploration. So the first activity we would want to share with you that you can use uh, and try in your classroom are soft skill scenarios, and we uh, referenced those cards earlier. Now we know stu students need to understand that there are a wide variety of education and training careers, not just being a classroom teacher. And each of these careers needs strong soft skills for success. <clears throat> the activity that we're sharing here are the three, three of the cards from our child or education and training scenario card deck. Uh, you can use these scenarios, uh, share them, read them out loud, and then uh, ask some key questions and try to say, how would you handle this? And we have represented three different uh, career pathways here. We've got uh, early childhood, we've got uh, administrative uh, services, and also pro professional services. So you can try one or all three, but they um, really make a great a five minute icebreaker activity. Um, you can also actually use these to uh, wrap up a lesson as well. You could use them as a review activity. You could use them as think, pair, share. So very flexible and customizable how you'd like to use them. But <clears throat> you could isolate this slide or this part of the presentation and simply use these three in a career exploration course. The second course in our pathway to childcare careers is human growth and development. And this course provides basic knowledge of human growth and development, as well as skills necessary to care for lifelong development, health, CPR, first aid, and nutrition. This course also provides information activities for guiding behavior and meeting the needs of special age groups. So our goal is to help support and create the most impactful human growth and development course, and to provide foundational information in a memorable and engaging way. We want students to understand <clears throat> that childcare professionals are in demand. Human growth and development courses and concepts are essential knowledge for childcare workers and part of a successful childcare career pathway program. We believe hands-on learning is really a key way to make those lessons meaningful. And here are, um, seven hands-on learning aids that address important human growth and development concepts that we're gonna share with you today. Actually, the, the top four that we've got here are, first of all, the fetal development kit. <clears throat> and students are gonna get an in-depth look at embryo and fetal development with this. Students are able to touch, feel, and examine a detailed life-size model <clears throat> of each fetal development stage. Additionally, you can incorporate uh, the curriculum for uh, that complete experience. We have something called the Real Care Infant Health and Safety Pack, and it really will help your students uh, prepare for child care careers and even parenthood with this, with this pack. It's an interactive package that brings together our choking baby and our infant CPR mannequin. 
And you get student workbooks and posters and interactive scenario cards with it as well. <clears throat> These are great tools for teaching up to 50 different infant safety and first aid procedures. And upon completion, the, the workbooks also become a great take-home resource that detail each of those procedures. Uh, the next thing we'd like to share is our food science and nutrition lab kit. <clears throat> you can introduce students to food science and nutrition concepts with this unique kit. It's a supplemental kit and it includes things like workbooks, scenario cards, and posters. And you get many things, materials and things in the lab, um, the lab kit that can be used all focusing on food technology. And then the fourth resource that we want to um, point out here is our birth defect and disorder model set. When you use this, it gives your students an in-depth look at six different birth defects and disorders with our one-of-a-kind models um, included in this set. So you can pass them around and they can look at things like the effect of Down syndrome, um, things like spina bifida, <clears throat> cleft lip, anencephaly, club foot, and tetralogy of Fallot, the heart, a heart defect. So conveniently bundled, there's uh, lessons on each of these uh, different uh, disorders in that kit, and it makes them come alive and the understanding happens when students can see them up close. Now here are our next three hands-on learning aids uh, for child development or human growth and development as well. <laughs> First of all, we have our drug-affected baby. And this is one of our most impactful specialty babies. When you turn it on, you're going to hear the cry of a real a drug affected baby and it's going to demonstrate withdrawal tremors. Uh, so you put that in students' hands, they hear it, they feel it, they see it, and it's really going to, it's a powerful, uh, and it shows the potential impacts of drug use while pregnant. <clears throat> Our second one on this page is our fetal alcohol syndrome baby. Again, it's a mannequin, but it shows the potential physical effects of prenatal alcohol use and FAS syndrome. And when you pass it around, you can have your students look at it and you can ask them to point out some of those dozen or so different things that they see. And if you have real care baby, it makes a very powerful comparison between a healthy baby and a fetal alcohol syndrome baby. And now this baby also comes with an infant brain model set that you can use also to pass around. <clears throat> and it graphically shows the size difference in the brains from a healthy to an FAS brain. And then our third learning aid here is our preemie baby. And this is a, a, a mannequin simulating a preemie at 30 weeks. And it helps students and caregivers understand the unique challenges and sometimes complex medical problems associated with preterm birth. So our second free activity that we wanna share with you today for uh, human growth and development is what we call our fetal comparison. And fetal size month to month activity is, is a lot of fun where you try to find everyday objects that are about the same size of an unborn infant at each month of gestation. And you can see on the list here, we give you some suggestions for things that could represent the uh, fetal development through each of the months um, throughout gestation. Uh, you could um, bring them in yourself, or um, you could have your, your students bring them in, but have them on display and along with the field development kit. Even if you don't have the kit, just having these items in there and seeing the growth from month to month um, is amazing. And while you talk about growth from month to month, you can also be sharing uh, what's happening um, to the fetus, what, which parts of the body are developing, which systems are growing, and that type of thing month to month. Our third recommended course in the ultimate child care pathway would be the fundamentals of education professions. This course will provide fundamental knowledge of the subject matter and methodology used in the education and training cluster. And this type of course should provide students with opportunities for multiple supervised observation experiences in diverse environments that will expose them to the requirements of careers related to education and training. So our goal to support this type of course is to provide <clears throat> resources that teach fundamental knowledge on the subject matter and methodology used in the education and training cluster. The resources we offer will give students opportunities and uh, simulation experiences in diverse environments, and it will expose them to the requirements of careers related to ed and training. 
concepts surrounding pedagogy, environment, and even legal issues will be supported. Now we'd like to share four hands-on learning aids that will support a Fundamentals of Educational, uh, educational Professions course. <clears throat> First of all, we've got our CDA scenario kit. And it's an interactive real world childcare uh, situation and scenario kit that prepare, prepares students to earn their child development associate cert certification. Now students use the, the power of scenario based learning here to practice skills that they'll need in a childcare setting. There are 78 different scenarios included in the kit, um, 39 focused on preschool and 39 on infant toddler. And they're all surrounding the 13 CDA competency standards for each group. So your students will read through a multitude of scenarios on each of the 13 competencies and solve how they would handle it. The next one on our list here is the Child Care Center Design Kit. <clears throat> and it's a really unique interactive kit that combines manipulatives to teach students best practices for laying out the learning environment in those types of rooms. So students learn <clears throat> some strategies for learning out the optimal uh, learning environment for each age. And then they are tasked with designing an infant room, a toddler room, and a preschool room using scaled tiles that represent the things that you would find in those spaces. And we really um, get some great uh, feedback from students. It helps them to be able to visualize it and work with their hands to lay out the very best uh, learning space. Um, we've already uh, talked to you about a little bit about our Shaken Baby uh, simulator, but again, it makes a really helpful hands-on learning aid for this area as well. And then another one that we have is called our Child Abuse and Neglect Training Kit. And this is where you're going to introduce your students to four different types of child abuse and neglect with this kit. It includes things like risk factors, how to identify and report abuse, and also how to prevent when possible. And you can also use the included wound models and adhere them to either a mannequin or to, to uh, students for uh, enacting some realistic scenarios. So if, you, if you're looking for something to teach uh, that very difficult uh, content area, this kit uh, could be a really helpful way to do that. And because our teachers, future teachers are going to be mandatory reporters, it is content that they need to learn. So the third free activity that we want to highlight today is from our Child Care Center Design Kit. And in this activity, your students are going to brainstorm and they're going to identify the types of learning centers that they want to include in their classroom. First, they would need to decide what age they're designing their learning center for. Then they're gonna use the grid to record information um, that they're gonna to use to create their classroom design. And there may be more boxes than you need for these learning centers, depending on the age of the children in that classroom. So you could have them do this. And then here's one free recommended video. It runs about 12 minutes, all about uh, learning centers in the uh, preschool or toddler classroom. And that's just one. Uh, if you go on to YouTube, there are many others out there uh, for free as well, but we just thought that made a really nice uh, addition to this learning center activity. So the fourth recommended course for an ideal child care pathway would be on child development. And this course introduces students to responsible nurturing and basic applications of child development theory with emphasis on parents and educators' responsibilities and the influence they have on children while providing care and guidance. Skills in communication, resource management, and problem solving are all reinforced in a course like this. So to support a child development course, our goal would be to provide fundamental information in engaging ways. We also wanna provide practical application of transferable career skills at this point in the student's development. And here are three of our very best resources um, to help create the best child development course experience for students. First of all, we have our Real Care Baby, and it is the most advanced infant simulator on the market. So uh, educators and students around the world use this for um, learning skills in early childhood, parenting, infant health, and a whole lot more. Um, it's probably one of our best known products Students take it home, they learn what it's like to care for an infant 24 seven. And there's nothing like that immersive uh, infant caregiving experience to help them learn some transferable career skills. Uh, we also have 
a companion a real care baby experience student workbook. And it's created from the real care curricula and it's intended to be used with the real care baby simulation experience. It can, um, includes all the activities uh, that we use in the lessons. Um, and then it's also a great resource after the fact that students can keep. And then our third resource here is our child development online course. <clears throat> this course covers key topics within child development, including pregnancy and childbirth, child development, parenting, as well as infant health and safety. And the format, the online um, uh, platform uses engaging self-paced uh, format that includes things like knowledge checks, you know, pre and post assessments, um, they've got learning objects that they reveal um, and just it makes it very engaging. There's there's videos embedded, but it's a 25 lesson online course. And it's a great way uh, for your students to independently uh, learn the content on their own, especially if you've got a remote uh, environment at all or you want to do some have them do some things on their own time. Uh, it really, really works well for that as also. So here's our fourth activity we want to share today. This is a one about infant toddler development from our basic infant care curriculum. And here, for each of the following ages listed, you'd list one fact for each area of development. Uh, you'd list two related care issues and needs, two ideas for play, and then one or two ideas to help improve behavior if needed. So it just gets students thinking all about the developmental, physical, intellectual, emotional, and social using the pies a methodology all about their ages and then the different needs at stages so you could uh, freeze frame this and you could go ahead and have your students uh, complete a chart like this on their own the fifth recommended course in creating that ideal child care pathway program is applications of education professions and a course like this should introduce applications within the teaching and training profession Preparation for educational licensure and ongoing employment, exposure to legal and ethical issues, environmental structure and culture, and basic historical, sociological, physiological, and psychological principles that apply to classroom practice. Extensive observation is in, a, in an approved school setting is usually a part of a course like this. So if you have a course like that, our goal to support this type of course is to provide a simulated work-based learning environment if possible. Advanced or senior level students need to keep applying their skills and developing those transferable career skills. And they can't always get access to practice hours in a real childcare center. So we wanna cultivate and support leadership skills and soft skills as well. So we are gonna highlight two hands-on learning aids that address both of these goals. Uh, first of all is our newest program, the Child Care Experience Program. And what it is, it's a, it's a complete simulation involving hardware, software, and curriculum that provide a capstone or advanced skill project for early childhood educational pathway programs. It is pretty much a pop-up child care center in your classroom. And it's going to offer the most realistic child care simulation possible. Your students are going to actually, you know, log in to work their shift. They are going to need to care for multiple infants of various ages simultaneously. Um, they are going to have to log all the care that they give to their uh, the children in their care, just, just as you would in real life. And they're going to also have to respond to random infant health, safety, and parent communication scenarios. Uh, it comes with software, and it's going to track all of the care that's given in a simulation. So anything that that student does, uh, and they're also um, going to be able to get some reports out at the end for some instant grading and assessment. So it's just a terrific new new product and we would uh, recommend that you go out to the realityworks.com product page and learn more about it. We also have some archived webinars that we have done also about the new childcare experience program. Our second hands-on learning aid for this, uh, this area is going to be our soft skills, our leadership soft skills program in, in uh, specifically. You can use this as a standalone course or as a supplemental program to anything you're currently doing, but it teaches 18 different leadership soft skills from things like conflict management, honesty, to team building and positivity. So it includes a teacher guide with detailed lessons. You get student workbooks, slide presentations, scenario cards. So there's an awful lot there. There's also an online version of this as well. So whatever works better, whatever format works better for your situation. 
And then we have a brand new baby. It's called the Common Childhood Illnesses Baby. And this offers realistic practice identifying and handling a series of six to seven different infant health conditions, including things like pink eye, diaper rash, chicken pox, hand, foot, and mouth disease, diarrhea, middle ear infection, and fever. And it includes a lesson on each and every one of those topics. But there's a lot of hands-on skills that you get with this baby. It's just a beautiful baby to practice um, these transferable career skills, such as uh, changing out a blowout diaper or uh, putting a calamine lotion on, on for chicken pox. You can also uh, use the lighted otoscope that comes with it to check out that middle ear infection. You get an eyedropper for the eye, for pink eye, so you can um, apply uh, the, the eye drops and so forth. So again, those are just really great hands-on learning aids that can make uh, learning the content much more interactive and engaging. So here's an activity that you can use with students to brainstorm starting your own child care center. And this comes to us from our uh, child care, uh, CCE child care experience simulation I was just pointing out. So before class, you could review this child care center dream sheet and have your students start thinking about their personal ideas of planning for a career as a child care center owner. Then you could distribute this child care center dream sheet to your participants or your students, read the introduction together, encourage and support the big question brainstorming discussion activity, and then you tell students to continue working on the interview questions that follow this brainstorming activity. Uh, you'd allow your students work time for this activity. And then at the end, you'd ask for volunteers to share responses from their work. So again, it just gets their, their uh, entrepreneurial juices flowing where they can uh, begin to dream a little bit about uh, if they'd like to open their own center and also uh, if they'd like to uh, be the director and so forth. So looking at national organizations is, uh, is also a great way uh, to get more information for creating the ultimate child care career pathway. And here's a few that I'd like to highlight. The National Association for Education of Young Children can provide great information. And they've recently put out a report. It's then the NAEYC report, preparing a profession perspectives of higher education leaders for the future of early childhood education workforce. And it really provides some insight into what it takes to prepare future childcare workers. Uh, you can also look to the National Facts Standards. It's a great source of information as far as uh, the specific skills and foundational information that you should be including in your courses. And Standard 4.0 really speaks directly to the education and early childhood pathway. Um, then there's also um, uh, identifying any national industry recognized credential uh, is, is great. So the CDA certification and also AAFCS uh, has some certifications as well for the early uh, childhood career pathway that you might want to check out. So that those are also two that I wanted to highlight today in our webinar. So I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Kelsey. She has been watching the chat for questions and she has some more information to share. Perfect. Thank you, Denise. Um, so now what? We have this slide with um, great links that link to our many different resources that we have, um, including our Family Consumer Science Implementation Guides, posters, career exploration le lessons, and all the free webinars that we do offer in all of the subject areas. Um, we also have a link to request a consultation um, with one of our account managers. Um, you can either click on the form or on the next slide. We do have a QR code that you can scan um, and it will basically connect you with your local manager there um, and answer any questions that you might have um, as well as get you a free quote if that's what you're interested in um, starting or um, refreshing your program. So with that being said, um, I have been watching the chat, um, just seeing a couple questions roll in here for Denise. Um, so first question off the bat, um, do any of these products come together in a package? Yes, on our website, we have several what we call pathway packages, and we have some devoted to education and training, and we have some specific to um, uh, child care careers, and some of those packages come in small, medium, and large, large um, sizes, so you could go to our facts area on our website, and if you click on those pathway 
because those are just a great a great way to start looking at what is available and we can also a la carte and put together custom packages based on your your program needs Perfect. Um, and then another question um, here is, do you get curriculum for each product um, that you spoke about? Uh, yes, you do. That is a key part of what Reality Works believes when we come out with a new product. Um, curriculum is always a very key component. Perfect. And would you recommend these products for, say, middle schoolers? Most of the ones I shared are, are going to be more on the high school level. However, the the ones that I shared early on for career exploration could certainly be um, adapted to an eighth grade level. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, I do not see any other questions um, at this time. Great. Well, thank you all for spending the last um, half hour or so with us today. We hope that you will take some of those free activities and use them with your students, try them out, and also explore some of the hands-on engaging career um, education and training career uh, types of uh, products that we offer. Thank you very much, everyone.